Hello everybody, it's Douglas from Other Than Nintendo Purposes, Jack's behind the camera, and it's been raining, and the place where we usually go to shoot videos, even when it hasn't been actively raining, is soup. And since I am well, world renowned for my patience, we're shooting this in here because I want to know what's in this damn package. A friend of mine sent me this. He, he, he bought it on Amazon and had it mailed to me and said, caveat, open it on camera. And so it's been sitting on my desk for a couple of days. And that's just mean. So we're opening it on camera. I'm going to be using my Foltz Minimalist Cleaver. That's why. <laughs> Damn, I love these knives. Ooh. It is an even grow. Effing grow. Effing grow? I'd say effing just because. Okay, I, I it's can't... an effing grow. And yeah. somebody's going to yell at me and say, no, it's not how you pronounce that. And then you're right. But I'm I a like redneck. it that way anyway. I'm a redneck and I do whatever I want. It is a EF973 folding EDC tool knife black. What have we got? What have we got? What have we got? I've kind of thought it was a knife because of the way the box felt, because you can feel this inside the package. It's like, yeah, What's that's, in the that's box? knife shaped. <laughs> Ooh, it's a big sucker. I and it's got a little. Shotgun cleaning patch made out of satin. <laughs> Ooh, I like that. You want to turn the sunlight on and I'll turn this one off? Video's getting jostled. Down. Up will hurt me. Okay, that is, that's got a little bit of texture on it. That's nice. Really cool pivot. See, the pocket clip is not reversible, but it is fairly deep. Yeah, there's hardly anything showing on that. I like that. D2 steel. I'm going to have to look up all the stats on this. Hey. Ooh. It's got some crinkling in it. Wow, that's a nice looking blade though. I like that. Hold it at about chest level. I really like that. That grit feels not... I don't want to have a dress as shown. And that grit feels not right. Since I don't have a lot of stats on this, this actually might be the opportunity to do something I've been thinking about doing on some of these tabletop ones and I haven't. Pull out my lock picking mat, or actually my lock pinning mat. Silicone. Uh, a little bit of oil. I had not planned on this part, so it's kind of fly by night because I didn't know what was in there and I didn't know that it would feel a little gritty. But because we don't know what kind of where are my you turn that off for a minute because I want you to come in tighter anyway. Okay, 
something that I haven't done on here a whole lot, I'm going to take this apart. And we're going to start with the pocket clip. goes in slot number one. This is why I like a pinning mat because it has numbered little holes to put things in and then little trays to put the tools in up there. And I know I need to get myself a Weeha set, but I don't have one. This is what I got. Those are awful short. I'm hoping I'm not just removing the scales. If I'm just removing the scales, I'm going to laugh at myself. So you guys don't need to bother. I think that might be scales. It helps to put the bigger bit in before you attack the pivot. Okay, so we've got... Yeah, that was the scales. Although I needed to take that off because there's a screw under the scale, so no laughing. Well, you can laugh. I'm not going to. And I need this smaller bit for that one. Because I'm a goof. Sneaky of them hiding a screw under the scale, though. Okay. Decent tension on that lock bar. And we are looking at cutting off Douglas's fingers. No, that's not fun. We are looking at caged ball bearings. And I think they are, yep, they are steel ball bearings in a brass cage. So, ooh, drop the pin. Pretty sure that went in there. Yeah, it did. I'll put it back afterwards. Got the pin. Where'd that, my other bearing go? There's my other bearing. That's for scale. Oh, I probably should have done the scale bit before I took it apart, huh? Okay, so I know this is a weird container to see it in, but this I keep for my alcohol stove, the Trangia style alcohol stove. You little son of a fuel safe container that hasn't been opened in a little while. Child resistant lid. Adult resistant lid. Oh, that's only because it hasn't been opened Whew. in a while. <laughs> that's alcohol. I'm going to put that lid back on. I'm not going to need any more than that. I'm going to clean this out. Don't want it just evaporating either. No. Because I use that in my stove, I get the 99%, which means it evaporates even faster than the stuff you buy at the, the um, CVX. I mean, so I just wipe that down and it's all, almost... You can, I don't know if you can see it. I can actually see it receding as it dries. I can smell it receding as it dries. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I. Making my eyes water. You want an incense afterwards? <laughs> no, go ahead and fire up the... Uh, wax melter? Yeah, the wax melt. I think I have cinnamon or something like that in there. That should be better than this. Okay, you can see there was a lot of... There you go. You can see there was a lot of dirt in that. That's why it was sounding so gritty. 
and feeling kind of gritty. Ball bearings shouldn't feel gritty. I, I, I thought it was a bronze washer or something the way it felt. So, nice and clean. Since it is ball bearings, do you want mineral oil? No. Okay. Okay, we are ready to start. We are ready to start looking at putting this back together. So I'm gonna bring out some KPL. I only have original. I didn't. I'm not. And that's probably why you don't want the mineral oil, isn't it? Yes. He doesn't tell me what he puts on his table. It's not my fault. Okay, we're gonna put a little bit right there. And then we need to put the ball bearings like that. And then we need to put the sharp pointy bit like that. Actually, no we don't. I'm going to put a little bit of this right in there too. You don't need a lot of this. Knife Pivot Lube is some slick stuff. You do not need a lot. And then I'm going to, without putting any lube on it, I'm going to put the stop pin back in. Because that would be silly to forget that. Little more. If you get any of this KPL and you're putting it on your knives, remember you do not need a lot of this. It is slicker than snot <laughs> I edited myself a high grade lubricant for your sharp things yes it is and now what you're going to want to do is if you look real close now this is real new and it's barely there but there's a little bit of a track there where the detent ball runs so I'm going to put a drop inside the detent hole and I'm just going to kind of drag that out ar around that track between the detent and the stop pen and then hee hee don't put this on backwards because then you'll look what like about a on the inside of that I'll put a little there there's a little bit of rub there, I guess that's good. And then we're going to set this back on top. We're going to set this back. We're going to set this back. There we go. Now, this first one goes in before the scales go on because they're sneaky. I am not putting knife pivot lube on the screws. I'm not using any um, counterproductive thought process. No, I'm not using any um, Loctite, but I'm mm. not putting any You know, I can I can hit that one before I put this back together as well. That might be a little easier. Or, with my big old gorilla hands, it might not be a little easier. There What'd you say? I said, where'd it go? Oh, I thought you said something smart aleck -y. I mean, I that would have been okay. I'm, I couldn't I, see I, where I kinda... the screw went. <laughs> I think it fell in the hole. No. I think it needs some hair around. I did not say that. <laughs> Erase the... Uh, beep that part. Would you freaking go in your place? Put this underneath your knife. It might help to, like, pull the screw. Oh, I got it. it. <laughs> Okay. Yes, there are random magnets around. I have a very metallic cave. 
my desk, my file cabinet, my uh, pantry shelf, whatever kind of shelf, my rack shelf, my refrigerator, everything around here is freaking magnetic. Which helps because I also just stick magnetic lights all over the damn place. Because I'm... Convenient like I'm, that? I'm me. Okay. The pivot needs the other driver. You're driving me crazy. Sorry. I was channeling uh, Rebel Without a Cause for a moment. I'll check the tension on that after I get the rest of this put back together. Okay. Those two were the pocket clip, correct? Too short one was this hole and that hole. Too long was that and that. Okay. You sure? The too long were for holding the pocket clip on. Okay. Because more material. And I should I'm, probably remember things like that when I'm taking. I'm pretty sure? sure that. I'm pretty sure that the. T pretty sure. Nope. Hold on. Did you? This is bent outward a little bit. Put pressure on it first. While you're putting them in. I'm pretty sure the. I'm. Short one, I'm pretty sure the short one's not. Maybe this one goes in there. That one goes in there. This one must go down here. Because it's countersunk a lot more. No. Why didn't I just remember which order I took them out in? I don't know. That would have made better sense. I put them in order, but then I put them back in the wrong order. Because you took the clip off first. I know. So these, these, this, this is the clip. I do. Just I, I just put those in the wrong. Them. Huh? You picked the long one off of this one. Yeah. Was the underscale area the wrong order? No. That one is not reaching. Hold on. Real quick. The one under your thumb, you put in earlier than you took it out this time. Okay, guys. This is why you don't take knives apart at midnight. Okay, yes, it is midnight. I have had a long day. Normally... Midnight is the middle of my day, but this is my evening because I've been awake for a long time. This is why we do this stuff mm. earlier in the day. That was it. Okay. So I just had those two in the wrong order. Now we just have pocket clip. Which was other one wasn't? No. I am also tired. There's only two left and they're the same size. So this okay. is... I was Would just... you stop being that way? I need to get me some of those, uh, the medical forcep things so that I can not have my big ass fingers trying to do this stuff. Mom's bathroom tweezers for the win. Um, I think those might be too fat to hold in there. But I'll try. Fine. Yeah, the they're loose. they're too fat to fit in there. Um, I'm I'm fine. I'll figure. I'll get this. There we go. That was all that had to happen. 
Now this one I'm not going to put all the way tight until I get this one. I'm sorry guys, this is not the first time I've taken a knife apart. This isn't the first thousandth time I've taken a knife apart. It just I'm having a rough day. If you rewind to the beginning of taking the knife apart and then put it on times two speed, It also might help if I had a little bit better quality bits because this doesn't have the magnetic gripping power of like a Lehob set or something. Whoa, that is sloppy. Okay, so this tension. needs to be, huh? Tension. Well, I said I was going to test the tension and then tighten it up after. We are not even close to being square. Or centered. Buddy, what are you doing? Did I check the centering before we started this mess? I don't think so. Because I'm not being centered here and that's disturbing. The knife's got to find its zen. It needs to feel centered. <laughs> that is still not wanting to sit right. What did I do goofy? Okay, I will put it back together properly in a minute. Went off, can't hear, stop that for a minute. Figured it out. Okay, I figured out what I had done wrong. In my haste to put it back together, I did not get the stop pin seated on the, um, the pocket clip side, which made all the difference in the world. Now we're centered. There we go. There, there we go. Now we're centered. And that grittiness is completely gone. Oh Ooh. yeah. That sounds pretty. That nice. is a lot better. Listen to the snap on that. There is no grittiness in that at all. The tension is perfect. The action is perfect. See a little bit of oil in the right place. The detent's nice and tight. I really like this now. Well, I liked it before, but I really like it now. Okay, put the oil away. Put the bit back. So I'm going to put this one in the holder. Because it's the one I use the most with it anyway. Okay, now... A ruler for scale. A ruler for some scale. We have got... Oh, let what me face this, it so uh, you can see it. This is an 18 inch ruler. We are looking at an overall of about 8 and 7 sixteenths with a uh, blade of three and seven sixteenths and a cutting edge of three and an eight. It has very little but there is some sharpening Rocoso in there. I really like the the action on this now that it's smooth. It's got a good size grip for my hand. Now this is something you don't see a lot. It's got basically a swedge but instead of Okay, back it back up because I can't hit the camera this way. <laughs> Be back in a minute.